Hello everyone, uh, my name is Ting Fong. I am part of the technical assistant team from Asia Pacific University. And for this week's tips and tricks session, uh, I will be presenting about this locker. Uh, have you ever encountered this problem where you pass a bit locker to go drive to your friend and they are unable to read the data inside because they are using Linux or Mac? Or have you ever had this problem where you are dual booting uh, Windows and Linux and ended up your Linux cannot read a BitLocker encrypted drive for your Windows? Don't worry, the rest of the session will definitely help you to solve these kind of problems. Enjoy! In this demo, we will be using Kali Linux. Um, the first thing to do before installation is to access the source list. It's a file that contains the link to the packages repository for the apt-get command we are going to use. As you can see here, there's already a link for Kali Rolling, which is the latest version of the repository. We are going to add Kali Sana repository here because one of the packages we need is currently not provided by Kali Rolling. Um, just add the two lines as shown on the screen or down in the description okay and then we save the file and exit next we need to update the package list from the respective repository just type app get and update let it run for a moment it will fetch the packages list from the repository and update them in the app get. Once the update is done, we need to install the packages we need to use this locker, which are CMake, Make, GCC, Fuse, Polar SSL, and Ruby. Git package is optional. It is used to download the dislocker source file from GitHub, which you could otherwise download with your web browser. You will be prompted for confirmation to install the packages. Just enter Y to continue. While we are downloading the packages, let us prepare the BitLocker drive. In this demo, we will be using BitLocker to go. It's almost similar to BitLocker, but instead of normal partition, we encrypt a removable drive instead. Here is a 1GB thumb drive with plenty of files inside and a proper drive label. Now I will turn on BitLocker for this thumb drive. In this case, we will be using password to unlock the drive and the password shall be password. Wait for it to encrypt, then eject the pen drive and plug in the pen drive to our Kali Linux. As you can see here, I've plugged in the 1GB removable drive. And the drive label is not visible. The files inside are also not accessible because it's already encrypted by BitLocker. However, do not worry. Once you have downloaded the packages, we'll decrypt the drive in a moment. Due to the slow download speed, let us just fast forward the download you will be prompted by another configuration to restart the services just press yes as usual after which the packages are installed we need to get the dislocker source file from GitHub. Just type git 
clone and the link to the this local source file. Once it has cloned the this local source file, that we have to change the directory to the this local source file, and then type the following three commands. The first one is cmake with a full stop. It configures the compiler. After that, type make, which compiles the source file, and then type make install to install this locker. Once we have finished installing this locker, we can start using it. All the dislocker command actually starts with the tag dislocker. So the first command we'll learn here is dislocker and dash h or help. It actually shows the dislocker command screen. It shows you the syntax and the parameters that we can pass to it. The first step to decrypt the bitlocker drive is to locate the drive that we want to decrypt. So I have to locate my 1GB thumb drive using the fdisk command and my thumb drive turns out to be sdb1. After that we need to create two additional directory. One directory is to host the decrypted file and the second directory is to mount the decrypted file as a loop device. Actually any two directory would work uh, just that for the demonstration purpose we'll create two empty directories so after creating the directory, which in this case is temp and this locked, we need to decrypt the drive. Simplest syntax would be this locker dash v and pass the volume label slash dev slash stb1 or whichever drive label that is assigned to your encrypted drive. And then in this case, we will use the user password dash u and then type in the password, which is password. And then double dash, after which we supply the directory which would host the decrypted file, which is in this case temp that we just created. So as you can see now, my temp directory actually has a file called this locker file. And then we need to mount the this locker file onto a directory. We would use the this locked directory that we created just now. So the syntax would be mount dash o loop and then the directory for the dislocker file followed by the directory of the mounting point there we go the drive label appeared with all the files accessible inside besides being able to access the files I can also edit them or even add new files onto the drive for the purpose of the demo let us just create a text file onto the decrypted drive. And the text file will be additional file.txt. After editing the file, in order to save the changes, we have to properly unmount the loop device. 
So to find the loop device, use the same command F disk, and then there slash dev slash loop zero, and then we will unmount it. You mount dash dev dash loop zero. This would unmount the loop device, and then we will also unmount the temp which is hosting the decrypted drive decrypted file and then we would unmount our thumb drive and we will proceed to the last part of the demonstration let's go back to our dear windows and unlock the thumb drive with the password which is password and let us see if the text file is yes it is there additional file there we go congratulations you have successfully completed the video thank you for watching stay tuned for more tech tips